Hi everybody, this is Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan. Welcome back to a rewind plan with me. I'm memory planning um, the week of November 6th. I'm showing you the kit that I'm using from Scribble Prince Co. I always grab her full kits. Um, that kit was called Saturday, I'm pretty sure. Or Saturdays, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, I love the kit. I love the colors. I love the clip art. Those like white pumpkins with the silver glitter are... I'm obsessed. I love that this is very fall without with like without being super fall colors it's like still the like light pinks and blues that are my kind of favorite color palette um yeah I didn't I wasn't originally going to pick up this kit until I saw um Andrea or is it Andrea I never know the owner of Scribble Prints Co um do a plan with me using this kit um and I just like fell in love with it while she was doing it the reason I wasn't going to pick it up was because you'll see later there's like these two double it, like it's a double box situation that has um like it's just like dogs <laughs> which I love dogs I'm a huge dog person but if you've been watching my videos for oh you know as long as I've been posting them now you've probably heard me say that I just don't love like animal clip art like that's that's not my thing at all so I wasn't gonna get the kit originally but then I like you know between watching her playing with me and getting like a really good look at it I realized that I could use the deco in the upper left hand corner like I did because the deco is really pretty and definitely my style minus like the uh, you know dogs or whatever um so I could do that and not need a full box and that she also her kits also come with um a lot of patterned washi which are not necessarily like the length of a full box but um I can make it work by adding other stickers onto it so I did pick up the kit and I do really end up liking how it turned out so I'm moving on here to Monday after setting up my sidebar, which is pretty much the same as it always is. Um, I color blocked the, the, um, little things and the glitter headers, but I did not color block the rest of the day. Like I often do with Scribble Prints Co. kits. And the reason for that is even though like I really love all of the colors and everything, um, it would have been easy to do the there is one kind of like cream color I you might be able to see kind of in the glitter header on the left there there's like a cream color that's really light and the stickers are like really hard to see so I didn't want there to be one day where it was just like all the stickers were really hard to see so I just spread all the colors out instead um Monday I'm marking that my time card was due like it is every Monday with a white deer stationery um silver foiled icon and a flag from the kit. I took the day off on Monday. If you watched my last plan with me, you heard me talk the whole time about how sick I was last week, which I am recovering from now. Um, so I took a sick day. That's actually the first sick day, knock on wood, good Lord, that I've ever taken. Um, so, uh, yeah, but definitely was necessary. Um, I put down that umbrella, um, full box with the glitter header. Um, I used this kit this week actually because it does have the like umbrella clip art and I think this was the first week that it rained. Um, I'm now doing this voiceover the following week and it is like pouring down rain like that there was like a little rain last week and this week it's like flood not flooding it's not flooding but like and I live in California we definitely need the rain <laughs> but I'm not a rain person I'm like sunny and 75 kind of a person so oh well it is nice and relaxing at night for sure though. Um, so let's see, what did I miss? I marked the doctor's appointment with a appointment label from the kit and her stethoscope that comes on her freebie. Um, and I'm actually just straightening it out right now. And then I said this in my plan with me last week. Oh, there's my head. Um, I, after I went to my doctor's appointment, my pedicure or my like nail salon is right across the street. So I actually booked a pedicure for right afterwards because I was like, I can just sit and be miserable on my couch or I can sit and be miserable in a pedicure chair and get my toes done. <laughs> so I did. Um, I'm marking my little things. I had soup for lunch like almost every day this week because of, yeah, sore throat and whatnot. Um, putting down my glitter header. I just realized my planner is across the room. I'm like trying to see it on my desk to <laughs> see what I'm doing next. Um, let's see. 
Oh, I am marking down a meeting that I had at 9.15. This is a week where I chose to use the, um, or a spread, I guess, that I chose to use the, the TV icons in, um, my little things for my meetings, which I don't always do, but, and I've explained it before, I think in one video, but in case you have subscribed since then, um, my, the reason that I do that is because I don't watch TV really at all. Like there's a few shows on HBO that I watch, but like I'm maybe watching one show at a time a week. Like that's pretty much it. Um, oh, hold on real fast. I am marking that I had a lazy night with a Fox and Pip girl. Um, cause I did go to work that day and I was not feeling well that night. Um, anyway, so I mark my meetings with the screen, the, the TV screen icons just because um, for the past couple years, I worked at like tech startups where all the meetings we had were generally like people were Skyped into the meetings and like you always had your laptop at meetings and there was always like a kind of Skype component or like sh screen sharing component to it. So I don't watch TV, but I do, have, I did used to have a lot of screen meetings. So that's like why I just think of those icons as like screens rather than TVs. And that's just kind of like how my brain processes that. And it probably, it makes probably no sense to anybody else. And people are probably like, why are you marking TVs for meetings? But that's just how my brain thinks of it. Um, also the full back, full box that I'm messing with right now so pretty that's probably my favorite one I love Japanese cherry blossoms and I love the silver glitter I'm obsessed I was having some trouble with the spacing this week I don't know what it was I don't normally like whiting out um my spreads at all just because I feel like you can see it so a trick that I'll use I, I did do it a lot this week because I just was having trouble with spacing but a trick that I'll use that you'll probably see me do a couple times is I'll like white out the header but I feel feel like the whiteout is less noticeable if I put stickers covering the edges of the whiteout. So like I moved that glitter header and the full box up just like a hair so it would cover the edge of the whiteout because I feel like it just makes it less obvious, I guess. I don't know. Um, I marked, I used three heart checklist on top for just some of the to-dos that I did that day. And then I'll fill in that, um, quarter box later you can see what I mean that like that's the cream color where it's just really hard to see I'm not sure you would even see it unless you're watching in HD oh did I mention you can watch this in HD I can't remember I filmed this voiceover earlier and had to stop so I'm refilming it and I can't remember if I said it this time around um if I didn't you can watch this video I film it in HD just click the cog at the bottom right of your screen or the video rather if you click out of the video and watch in 1080p it is way better to watch that way for sure. Um, yes. So this is that cream day, the glitter headers. It looks fine. Um, I think because it, there's, she adds shadow to make the glitter so you can see it a little better, but yeah, the actual cream stickers, like while the color in real life is so pretty, it just, it doesn't do a whole lot on a, um, white background, I think. So I'm marking that I worked from home on Wednesday. I guess I had a Freudian slip and I wrote work from here instead of work from home, but oh well, I know what it means, I guess. Um, I used the munchkin on the laptop um, from the Brady. And then I'm marking that I had to call the help desk to um, set my computer up. for work from home capabilities. Um, yeah. So that was like a process that, um, sticker, the phone sticker is from Dizzy Dizzy Dreams, who unfortunately is no longer open. Um, I am marking, okay. So I'm making my own version of a full box here. I'm taking the patterned washi and then I line up the length with an actual full box to see like what the length of a full box is. And then I used that half box to cover the gap in between the washi. And I just took a planner from Fox and Pip and wrote plan with me. Um, yeah, but that's kind of like my way of making my own full box instead of using um, one from the kit. So, yep. I think I do it again another day. Y again, using the whiteout, 
and I think again if you're watching in HD you'll see that it just it really is not a pure white if anybody has a recommendation for a pure white white out that you can't see I would love to hear it for sure let me know um but I am marking I think that I had a hair appointment yeah blowout appointment that day at 6 30 with a doodle um, from Dizzy Daisy Dreams, and then I'm also marking that I went to sleep early that night with a pillow girl from Fox and Pip. Oh, and then I'm mar going back to Tuesday to mark Joe's coffee. Um, I, I don't know why, but I almost always, not always, but I often like marking if I know I'm going to go get coffee that day, or if I'm rewind planning if I did get coffee, because I love coffee stickers. Like, it's not something I necessarily need to plan for or, like, need to remember in my memory planning spreads, but I just really love coffee stickers, so that's, like, why I do it, because, like, I don't know, this is a fun thing, right? So, might as well. I'm putting down my little things for Thursday. Let's see. This is the part where I probably should go get my actual planner. So I'm marking um, on Thursday that we had a fire drill. I kind of talked about in my last, um, in the actual plan with me from this week, not the rewind one, that um, I didn't know that we were having that fire drill when I set up the meeting that I'm writing down right now at 9.30 a.m. Um, so that was a disaster. I had to leave the building to like, and go to a, the coffee shop across the street and then I couldn't get Wi-Fi and blah, blah, blah. But um, yeah, the meeting was at 9.30 and the fire drill was at 9, but I work in this really tall building where, like, it takes two hours to have a fire drill because there's so many people, like, getting everybody out is a process, so I didn't actually do the fire drill, I left the building, and I left the building and, um, instead just, like, yeah, had my meeting, so then this week, the week that I'm recording this, which is the following week, um, we had like a real fire alarm go off and I was like, dang it, that is my karma. I have no idea what to do or where to go. It's my karma for ditching my actual fire drill to have the meeting that I scheduled. But it was all fine. I think it ended up being a false alarm. Although they did say that there was smoke coming from my floor, which is kind of freaky, but it was fine. Um, okay, so anyways, I'm marking that I went and worked from home at lunch because... Um, for the rest of the day, I just, I was not feeling well after all that. I was still pretty sick at this point. I used a flag from the kit and then I used a silver foil home icon from White Deer Stationery and a bow paper clip from Hello Petite Paper. And then I'm taking that glitter quarter box at the bottom there and marking down that I um, went shopping for my friend's bachelorette party to get her like, uh, like, you know, a lingerie present for that like part of the um party um and yes looking back on the spread I really wish that I would not have used the like I used the shopping bag clip art deco from the kit to mark that down and it's like right under the shopping bag deco full box and I really don't like those things two next to each other so I wish I would have used the shopping munchkin from the freebie but oh well um, okay, so I'm marking on Friday that it was payday, um, with two of the stickers from her freebie. She said, Andrea said in her last, not her last, but a video recently that she redid the freebie and is taking that payday sticker out. And I'm like genuinely really bummed about that because I really like that payday sticker. So, oh well. And then I marked, um, that I worked from home on Friday. I still wasn't feeling well. Um, using a glitter quarter box and that is a computer from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. Right now I'm messing with the little things because um, I had to mark that I had a meeting on Friday. So I yep, had to add that in. And then marking of course that I had soup again on Friday for lunch. Um, so right here I make another like makeshift full box instead of using one from the kit. Um, I debated using the Saturdays for shopping 
um, full box on Saturday, but I didn't go shopping, so I didn't want to do that. <laughs> um, so what I did do is I, there's this like, I love fall sticker that she added in the deco section of the kit. I think this kit was intended to be used in the first week of fall. I obviously didn't use it that way, but, um, yeah, it's kind of like a big strip of washi almost, but it has deco and script on it. So I'm doing that same kind of trick where I take a strip of washi and then take the Isla Fall washi and measure it against the length of one of the actual full boxes from the kit. Um, so it looks like it's just a full box kind of split in half almost. And then I'm going to take the label that I have in my right hand there. I'm going to take the blue label and use that to cover the gap and just write on it like I was layering a sticker over a full box. Um, and I do, I think this is a really good trick, honestly, for people who maybe like me, who are like super picky with, um, clip art and what their full boxes look like. I think I'm just looking right now for, yep, <laughs> the Hello Petite paper, uh, bow clip, the color, a lot of the colorways in that sheet from Hello Petite paper match this kit really well. So that was nice. Okay. And then I think I am... Yeah, I'm going to white out the um, header there because, again, my spacing was just so off this week. I don't know what it was. I'm using a full box. To, or no, I always do this. It's not a full box. It's a half box. Um, I think, oh, I think you just saw me right there try and pull that shopping bag up to be like, mm, that doesn't look good, but... It was stuck on there pretty good. I'm using another piece of deco to kind of, again, cover up the line of where I've whited out that header. Because, again, I just don't like when you can see, like, the where the white out and the paper meet. I feel like it makes it look way more obvious than when you cover the edges up. Um, and I'm marking with a, that's a, like, a place setting sticker from GP Sticker Studio that my boyfriend and I went out to dinner with his parents that night and then I'm taking that brown label to mark oh and a beer mug from from Molly's Prince to mark that we went and played pool at a bar first which I definitely shouldn't have done I was so sick and I just can't make adult decisions so I decided to like go out and do stuff rather than lay in bed at home because I was like stir crazy after working from home all day Okay, so I'm moving on to Saturday, marking down my little things again, I'm putting that, I think I end up putting, yeah, the glitter headers down for the rest of the week at this point. And the little things, as always, unless I order something on Sunday, I don't get mail, so I'm just marking down. Oh, I did have leftovers on Saturday. That was good. But I did have soup for lunch on, um, on Sunday again. Flipping my planner upside down to put the weekend banner in. As always, if you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend it. It is life-changing. So I'm using a party munchkin from the kit to mark that it was my friend's bachelorette party I was supposed to go to. I was actually really, really upset and disappointed because I wasn't able to go. Um, I was too sick and I kind of start had to make an adult decision <laughs> um, on Saturday and just not go. No, even though I wanted to really badly. Um, yeah. So that was kind of a bummer. I I just, I knew I had to like get better and kick whatever was, whatever, whatever cold I had just cause I'd missed too much work and I don't know. I, it got worse. Like I ended up getting a fever on Saturday, which sucked. So I'm kind of glad I didn't go, but I'm also like really just bummed that I missed it. If that <laughs> makes sense. I'm sure it does. I think right now I am deciding on a full box. I struggled a little bit because this is where I like 
it got a little bit narrowed down. I didn't have enough washi to make my own. And I generally don't love using um, the girls, fashion girls in kits if I can avoid them. Um, but this one I chose to just because um, she, I don't know, I think it helps a little bit when you can't see their face. I don't know why that like makes me feel a little bit better about it. So I kind of sucked it up and just <laughs> used her. Um, and she, it's cute. I mean, I don't know why I have this aversion to fashion girls, but I got over it for Saturday. Um, but yeah, I'm marking down that I painted my nails and other than that, I literally just like laid in bed all day and was on my computer and like, didn't really do anything productive just because, um, I needed to get better. So I am marking that I'm, gonna, I'm about to grab a, a uh, fox and pip girl who's kind of snuggled in a blanket. She's so cute to mark that I just relaxed and had like a sick day. Okay. Hi everybody. So I know this is the middle of a voiceover, but I'm now filming, well, not filming, doing this voiceover again, weeks and weeks later. Um, the actual like plans, I think you could probably see my nail polish changed. Um, so I'm like, I think I planned this on rewind, did the rewind plan for this on like Saturday or something, and then uploaded all this stuff to my computer and, um, totally forgot about it and did not do the end of the week. So I filmed this like a week, a week or two ago, and now I'm doing the voiceover. It's December. <laughs> so we're like way far behind here, but I thought I'd finish it up and upload this anyway. So excuse the slight interruption to the video. Um, anyways, back to the video, I'm marking that I slept in on Sunday morning. Uh, I had forgotten that I had took those two stickers, the pillows from Dizzy Daisy Dreams and the coffee cup was from the kit and like put them, um, to the side. Cause I knew that I was going to sleep in on Sunday, um, whenever I was like planning this. Um, and I had put a bed from, uh, Thumbprints Co, but I liked the like coffee cup and pillow better. So I redid that. Um, and then what am I doing? Oh, I don't have the planner in front of me anymore. I think I'm marking Trader Joe's. Yep. I go to Trader Joe's <laughs> like every Sunday to get salads for the week. So I'm using, um, the munchkin from, um, the kit to mark that. And then I think right here, I'm like trying to figure out what I want to do because I don't like to cover, to use the full boxes right over, um, the headers because then I have to use two glitter headers when I really only like to use one, if that makes any sort of sense. So what I'm doing instead is using a piece of washi from the kit to cover the header and I'm taking the, um, like, what is that called? The movie marquee, marquee, it's a movie marquee <laughs> to mark, um, that I had a plan with me collab with planet with a K going live on Sunday, which I actually wasn't able to upload in time because I was at my boyfriend's house who had really shitty internet. Um, but I used a munchkin from the kit that had all the stickers and some balloons. I thought that was a really cute way to mark that. And then I'm putting down that full box with the glitter header. I love that full box. It's definitely one of my favorites. Um, and I think I'm marking probably that I had a hair appointment. I'm guessing I normally go get a blowout or dry style from a, a blow dry bar on Sundays. So my hair looks good for the upcoming week. Yep. Um, I took that sticker from planning, I think planning sanctuary and it's super cute, but the like peep, the pink was a little bit too peach, which probably is hard to see on the video, but it really bugged me in real life. <laughs> um, so I am grabbing a pink silver foil heart from white deer stationery to mark. Yep. Blow dry, blow, blow dry bar hair appointment at six 30. That can't be right. It was probably at four 30. They're not open at six 30. That's what time I get my hair done on Wednesday and Thursdays is at six 30. I got confused. Um, okay. I'm showing you all the kit leftovers. There's plenty. I'll definitely be able to do a personal spread with all the leftovers. And what am I doing? Oh, I'm probably picking out some clips. Yeah. I chose a little tiny silver bow showing you the first, the second half of the week. And then I realized that I did not fill in my sidebar. So I'm about to do that now. Just marking in my work schedule. In my to do's. 
I don't know why I'm jumping back and forth. <laughs> I'm starting to understand why people fell out, out their sidebars off camera or speed through it because this is not very interesting. Although, to be fair, I do really like watching people um, write sped up in their planners. Like, I don't... Sometimes when, like, people, um, like, fill off their planners off camera, I'm like, wait, I like watching handwriting. <laughs> so, oh well. Anyways, okay. I'm showing you the week, trying to get give you a view into some of that foil, get, like, a good foil shot. Um, yeah, and that's everything. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Um, I really appreciate it. As always, you can find me at Plan Mosh Plan on Instagram. Bye.